All right, welcome to How to Win Casual. This is a demo review of a game I just played. I'm uh, very angry at my team, uh, more than usual, because these were exceptionally incompetent towards the end of the game. So uh, this one is all about the bizarre bargain for the most part. It's a rifle that I didn't use for a while and then I started using it and I realized that if you are the passive sniper or you play secure and you're able to land a couple of headshots, let's say the other team has a couple of feeders, players that you can quickly headshot, quick scope, get the headshots and get two or more, then you're in a pretty good spot. You also need to not be like a quick scope king. And already now I'd made the first big mistake and that is staying on the low ground with this awful teleporter spot and thinking that my team would be able to hold the top by themselves, which they weren't. They just, the enemy team just uh, used the strategy, which is very uh, effective, which is just to attack uh, at any point in time. Just hold that W key, move forward into the enemy's face uh, and kill them. Uh, you will see that my team is very good at not holding the W key for the most part, and they also um, just just flat out stop and just stay in the chokes and and die uh, the entire game without ever learning or trying something different. But we haven't gotten to that part yet. So so far I'm just sniping, and so far um, I think it's Mr. Muffins or something, a guy who. I have a lot of hate for right now because if if there's like there's one thing I hate like it's okay if you're bad that's fine another thing is if you never learn that's another thing but if you give up you are literally worth less than the dirt under my shoe when I'm running in the forest that's how much I think of you you're not even worth stepping on because the material of my shoe might be might be gone um, so that's not good so right now I'm just doing a big charge shot Trying to hit the pyro, and that's like the major downside with this, that you spend a lot of time, like it takes forever to charge this compared to the regular stock, and by the time you're headshot, um, sometimes you miss, and then it was all for nothing. But then once in a while you get those crazy sprees where you get up, uh, you get a lot of head, and a lot of snipers that shooting in the head doesn't count as a headshot apparently. Then of course also calling for help, because if I'm sniper, you're let's say you're playing with me. If I'm sniper and you are behind me, you are not where you need to be, pretty much. Because I, I always try to position myself to be uh, have teammates in front of me. But here I'm being very aggressive because I want this medic, so now I don't expect you to be in front of me. So I go down and there's no health pack and I might die to this pyro, and I did. So that's what I get for trying to be greedy. But luckily my team, despite saying that we're going to lose... Wait, did something, wait, when did you say that? Oh uh, no, that was that was the other game that's still in the chat. <laughs> Spoilers. All right. So we're just gonna move back out. So there's a spy here, and my spy game has been pretty good uh, this game. This is my first game of the day playing here. And uh, you'll see that the enemy team, uh, has, the spy does not have a good day. Um, looking for the medic. I just wanted, like I didn't have a clear shot, so that's why I didn't fire because in the beginning these shots are precious and then of course like that you miss everything and you look like an idiot for thousands of people to enjoy. But then we get a kill on that heavy, so we have one head, need one more to justify the usage of this weapon. We see the medic, we miss, that's fine. We see a demo man and we miss because he's not predictable. And then we get a flinch just as we're about to headshot the medic. Going down, grabbing the health. That's a spy, that looked like a spy, but ooh, oh, shoot the sentry. Okay, don't want to contest that. So at this point, I think I realize that I need to, to be a bit more careful, uh, be a bit more passive, play behind or, or around the sentries. There's no reason for me to be in the front when we don't really have that many to do. And right here, it's pretty smart as a heavy because I can't actually see your head. And I want the heavy. I don't want the medic uh, because he's going to go down and he's going to give me that charge, feed me. So, and then I'm going to try and get the medic here, but of course he gets away. And then I'm just, I'll have your ready, ready, throw it and miss, of course. Looking for that demo man. He was not predictable once again. Land a headshot on him and try to go for the medic, hit the wall. And then I'm charging. This is a nice little angle you can use sometimes. And you can see I have a soldier in front of me. That helps just so much. I aimed for the engineer and hit the soldier gump with a uh, get down, Mr. President. And uh, there's a little Girardi throw and I'm gonna have to go back and whoop. They, no health back, shouldn't have jumped there. Should just have slid off. But luckily just go back, the dispensary isn't there. And then you find another dispenser. Also be careful about spy taking the teleporter. So that's something you should always be aware of. Whenever you take a teleporter, imagine there's a spy camping it behind you. So just turn around as soon as you do. So here I'm looking for the medic and I miss. 
And the soldier doesn't use the crouch jump jitter, which makes him an easy target, but uh, should have crouched there, but uh, that's okay. He's been the guy I've pretty much built my entire headshots on. So I'm not entirely sure what happened, but at this point it seemed like the blue team just stopped attacking uh, for some reason. They seem to be stuck behind this sentry, which I'm trying to shoot, and there's a pyro on that side. Throw a Jurati. Land a body shot. A lot of snipers don't maximize on the fact that you can always do like a flick body shot while you're retreating. A lot of snipers, they just f totally tunnel vision on their escape route and turn their backs towards the enemy, and that is not recommended. And then we have the spy here, and I thought he was going to be there, so not a proper prediction, but that would have been a, a viable place for a spy to run. So I know he's around here somewhere. Um, if I can't, if I, because I know they have more than one, I think. And then we get, we're up to uh, like a lot of heads right now. And that we would not, probably not been able to get that pyro if we didn't have the Bizarre Bargain. However, we would have gotten a lot of other kills if we didn't have the Bizarre Bargain. So, you just gotta be careful that it doesn't charge instantly like you would think. It actually has the same quick scope timing as the other rifles. So if you're quick scoping a lot, then this is definitely not the weapon for you to use. This is a weapon where you start off slow and then you go for faster charge shots. Works great against medics. Um, buildings and stuff like that. It's very great good against buildings because once you get that build up you can use it on buildings and did I mention it was good against buildings? It is good against buildings. So here I have a spy and here I have no idea where the spy went. So he could either go for the health packs. I see that the health packs are still there. So I'm like alright maybe he went this way. And then there he is. And then he does the dumbest thing which is to run forward um, when he covered in Gerardus. He should have just kept riding and tried to like pistol me or, or something like that. But <laughs> definitely don't get close to a Gerardi Bushwaka sniper. But at least he knows that now. So let's see if he learns or if he leaves in shame. So now I'm getting kind of too cocky. And yep, there we go. And I'm dead. And that's completely my fault. Nobody else but me fucked up that badly because I did not have anyone in front of me. You can see my team is actually holding here. So while you die, you can spend the time reflecting or just fast forward. Um, I did reflect there because you can't fast forward real life unless you're on some kind of drug. And of course you see the spy there. And then he gets away. No idea where he went. So I was looking for... What you should always look for is like health pick some pickups and stuff, but I know he's back here, so he's going to be here pretty soon. Um, but I'm not going to spend any more time looking for him because, you know, that's that's one of the... Uh, like the... If you're chasing a spy for too long, you're actually effectively dead because you're not in the field where you want to be. So then a bit too far forward. Still haven't learned my lesson to be behind enemy lines and be a bit more passive with the Bizarre Bargain. Let's see if I learn this time. So going to the front. And now we actually have a very good comp. So start off by getting one head, looking for another. That guy blew up. I thought I felt like a teleporter or something, but it was just my imagination. I'm just gonna have a little peek because there's not a lot going on. And then I heard the spy sapping stuff. And there he is! Is he gonna go for stair stab? Because I'm prepared for it. Alright, so here he is again. And he has the, <laughs> the diamond back and he misses and I shoot him twice. Ugh, that's gotta feel bad. I know the feeling, dude. I, I, I have this theory that revolver bullets, they curve. They curve around. So then I get heals from a medic. And I saw Pyrus taunting, like, yeah, I'm gonna get this, oh, fuck, shit, I did not, I thought he was gonna taunt again, but then he actually did something. Gah, outplayed was I by that Pyro. Kids are about to, um, or respawns, about to, about to come in again, so here we are, running back, inspecting the rifle, seeing a lot of bombs, looking for some potential quick scope targets, miss the medic, the medic is, should be dead, uh, should be dead, and I saw, I think I saw something, yeah, there's a spy. And then we bushwhack at him, and he's now mad, and instead of switching class or doing something else, he just leaves the game. Um, which, is a, which is a good way to deal with, like, oh man, the sniper keeps getting me all the time, better hit that, uh, that disconnect button up here so I don't have to deal with that. That's a good fix of it. It's like, ah, got a lot of bills I can't pay, ah, let me just put them in a drawer where I can't see them. That'll, that'll solve the problem of that issue. So, trying to, trying to throw Gerardi over the roof just for funsies. So we have a couple of medics. Things are looking great. Now we have a really solid comp. If you're looking top there, we have mostly power classes and a medic for each power class. A couple of engineers, two snipers just for picks. And we have a spy that is actually doing some work, I think. I haven't been paying attention, but he's... Well, he hasn't been useless, I think. 
Then we get kill on that guy, and then of course we stay here and headshot isn't headshot when you don't let it charge fast enough. Then I decided, like, you know what? We're defending, it's only 30 seconds left on the clock, I'm gonna stay here. I'm a bit open to backstabs, but I am uh, I'm I'm choosing to do so. There we go, shooting him right in the face. That's a body shot. Jurati on that combo. However, quick fix does heal a lot, and my uh, fuck. Checking my back just a little bit. This soldier should have been holding forward, but he isn't. He's he's in the can't hold W club. And then we're going for a cheeky little shot here on the heavy, but that we can't make, and then. Demo takes the health back, but that's fine. I decide to play it safe. Go back, aim for this engineer that I can't hit. And now let's go on to the final round where I... I get so mad. Oh, boy. So, so far it's feeling pretty great. You know, I'm like, yeah, you know, someone said we're going to lose and it's Mr. Muffs. It's like, I guess I was wrong. Yeah, well, you, I'm going to be so mad at you. And I'm, I'm, co I'm contemplating if uh, sending the... Um, IGPS fans to your profile to let, let you know that just giving up and being useless um, is not okay. Of course, I could have done something better. I could have gone medic myself, but I don't because uh, it wouldn't be as funny. So this is why the Bizarre Bargain is great in the beginning like that because you can pick off lesser players. I'm like, oh, he's repairing. Can I see him? Oh, yes, there he is. Got him. That's the guy I probably killed the most, that Baxter's guy. And now we're up to three, so now we're in, we're in good shape. So now we're going to go into the most interesting part, and that is pushing the cart. Um, I actually don't meet a single person, so here we go. Beep, 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 beep. Tow truck. Towing the cart. Yep, just me. Towing the cart. Here we go. Oh, on to the point. All right, towing the cart. All right, okay, so here we might meet some dudes, right? Um, nope. Uh, well... Not taking. Oh, well, they're here. Okay, so no more tow truck. There we go. Nice old Girati hit the heavy. Whoops, my bad. Should have thrown it higher. And then we just push the cart because it's important to do the objective, right? As a sniper, just stay on the cart. Once I see the heavy get sniped, I bump into that little spy and I call spy. And so for some reason, this guy doesn't see that because he has a fucking pot on his head. Fucking blind, blind ass man. And then I know he's here, but I can't spend my efforts looking for him because I'm not the right class. Is that a spy? Nope. And then, oh, we see another sniper. Okay, uh, fuck, miss. Uh, yeah, because I want to put my back against the wall because I don't want to get stabbed because I know the spy's here. If you look in the kill feed, he's not dead. He's very much alive. And fuck, miss then. And also the railing, I think, gets in way of a couple of my shots. So this isn't the optimal angle. There we go. Okay, shooting him. And you're looking for another target. I see the medic. He's like, here, who do I pick? Medic, fuck, miss. I have four shots so I can charge a lot, but uh, all right, so here, here's what you do with Kritzkrieg, right? You see the Kritzkrieg here? Uh, you just run forward and uh, kill them uh, like that. Um, you can do that as a sniper. Uh, works great with any class that has some mobility. A lot of people have, they run backwards. Like usually when you meet a Kritz demo man, you are, you're fucked. You're absolutely screwed, right? So the best uh, call is just, usually if they're out with sticks, uh, you should just run forward and try and kill them. Uh, most of, most of the time, most demos are used to people trying to run away, so they will actually shoot. And here I heard a spy. I'm like, I heard, I knew I heard something. There he is. And then, because spies run faster than sniper, and that's fair and balanced um, for a sniper main. I'm like, fuck it. He can be in the tunnel for all I care. I know he's there. But yeah, um, the general rule for a crit demo man is if he's shooting pipes, run backwards if he's shooting sticks run forwards and it you'd be amazed of how much more demo man crits creek demo man you'd be able to solo kill um, if you just show no fear and also it will limit the crits because keep in mind they're not invulnerable they take as much damage as if it was just overheal um, and usually you can survive a, a bomb or two if you have full health so here we are just uh, just pushing and uh, there's a spy that no one seems to notice. I think it was just me that saw him there, so that's fine. And then I quick scope the scout, who's then like, I'm gonna go sniper and counter snipe GPS. So there we go. Just going forward, there we go. And then we're pushing. So everything looks great until this point, until uh, my, I think, I'm, I'm not sure what happens. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. So the cart's moving forward. We have power classes and everything. And I'm respawning, and 
spy checking people that's way far in the back. And then they make a push forward, so I heard them. That's something you can do, like body shots like this. I'm trying to get the medic here. I'm, I'm pretty dead, and I, I thought he was gonna shoot the other way, so but I was too predictable. So we had a composition that worked, but now my team's like, yeah, let's not have that anymore. Um, let's let's not. Of course, I could have like if if I were to truly win how to win casual, ninety percent of the games would just be me playing heavy or medic. Um, you would win most games. Um, so there we go and trying to get the soldier can't really do it so I'm like alright so now I'm gonna wait for okay my team are uh, f four, four of our support classes uh, we have a medic soldier should be in the front he, oh, I haven't seen okay there he is and uh, now he's dead and there's a spy again killing him I think nope he's still alive we'll watch the kill feed he's a dead ringer there's that scout I quick scope. Ah, yes, three heads, and I'm just in the back here watching the payload, and then the spy's watching the payload. He's, he's looking at it, making sure that it's there, and you can see there there actually isn't anything stopping us. We can just at any point in time just run forward here, and here comes the speed boost the demo man. I'm calling for help, and I heard the medic got spied, but I wanted to shoot the other guy, and I wasn't fast enough to turn to prevent the backstab, and I felt really, really, really bad because. That's one thing if you know something's coming and you just you can't pull off what you want to do that's the that, that's how you get better you know it's like oh man if only i could have been a little bit faster i knew it was coming like here you can see that like the spice here and he jumps over there and i'm like throwing gerardi i'm like if if i'm doing this right as and you see this i mean nobody's paying attention to me or anyone for that matter so here uh they offer people to join the other team even though uh they are winning so i decided to not join and I think they got a good player, like the one player preventing them from totally rolling us. Um, which is you're going to see soon, and you're going to see salty uh, GPS is great pure salt. Grand pure salt, or something like that. Uh, so I'm just looking around, looking for an opening. I see this spy face stabbing, or trick stabbing the engineer, whatever, and kill him. Turn around, and fuck, there's another spy! And then we try and kill him, and we stand on... We, we were literally on the pack, but he had the diamond back, so we would have died anyway. So, here we go. Conk Master. He is conking. It's a master. This is what a conk. This is when doing conk. So now we're getting pushed back. All right, here's the crit. So you can see, ah, oh, headshot. Just shooting and at them kills them. And then I missed a shot on that guy. And we can see that the other spy here. I think I actually got the kill on him this time. Overheal sniper. Ah, soldier on the flank. Shit. I can't go in there. Yeah, spy with the Latranger. You go in first. Soldier, the only other competent player on my team. Very hurt and very... Why are you just sniping back here? You're sp that, that's not the way to go. Ugh, this is the way to go. And it's like a demo. I, I, oh, God. Random crit. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. And now they're they're pushing us back to his spawn, and now you can, you can see the, the spiraling hatred of GPS just just coming out. I've also been on the jog today, so I was in a really good mood. I was like, you know, feeling great. So this is like super slow. I'm like, he'll go did, holding S in in spawn. All right, let's see how many people do not run out of spawn. So it's five minutes left. We actually don't leave for for five minutes. So just hold W look he's just standing in the choke that move you gotta go out and occupy space I'm a sniper I can't do that I keep throwing Gerardi or looking you know like just because if you hesitate they will continue to kill you like this if you could just don't think he's in the back okay here he goes he stops I'm telling him to go they're just looking at the door I it's like I'm, what do you want me to do here throwing Gerardi fuck hold the door open okay here we go heavy Medic isn't healing him, he's healing some other fucker. And the heavy actually, look, that one heavy who didn't know what he was doing, he just walked out and the enemy immediately just backed out of there. And you can see, I'm like, hold W to move out of spawn. They're not moving. Of course, the medic is building. Of course, we get fucking destroyed. But you can see, all it took was one heavy. He just walked out without heals and he pushed them back. And there you go, this fucking Captain S, Lindskog, fucking Captain S. Here we go, he goes out. All right, so we have an Uber. This is the opportune moment to go. So we're pushing them back. Here we go. Finally, oh, fuck, they're all over. Medic flashes, great flash. 
pyro, burning the guy, like, killing him. All right, so now we're finally back out of spawn. Of course, it's like some sniper asshole who took advantage of that, but I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him good. I'm like, fucking, fucking piece of fucking god, die. So there we go, and here comes... Okay, here's the crits, right? So he's like, okay, shit, uh, crits coming. What do you do in this situation? They're almost... I mean, we're at the spawn. I mean, there's not much to retreat to. Uh, uh, hello. So what do you do? This is what happens if you just attack, right? This is what happens. You just throw Jurati, run up to his face, and fucking kill him. Like that. Easy. No problem. I did it by myself as a sniper. I could have been any other class, and I would have accomplished pretty much the same thing. Pyro, just run up, fucking burn him. Heavy, shoot him. Soldier, rocket jump above his head. And there we go. Here we go. You see the, uh, the soldier is just strafing back and forth in place. Do not do that. Just move forward. Can you can you tell how mad I am? I'm just like, just go. I'm spamming. Go. You're not moving. You're sticking. You're playing like a sniper. That's right. Is that a spy? No. Okay, that's not a spy. That's, that's a good player. Fuck. Here they come again with like super crits or something. And you're running the wrong way. And there's a sniper in the brick. And I'm looking for the heavy. I don't have any heads. So I can't shoot because I'm using the bizarre barking. And I'm like, come on, come on. Okay. So there's just, it's just, it's just me. It's just me. Uh, six health outside of spawn. I can't. Oh, and I'm dead. And here's the medic Ubering on uh, fucking nobody. The sniper gets. Okay. So we go out and. I don't know what's going on. I'm just fuming. I'm sweating. And I'm, oh, it's just pure anger at the team. Because you can tell that they're not. Okay. So here we go. Like, are you moving? Are you just fucking. Crits, all right, so we're waiting for a huge respawn wave. It's going to come in soon. Throw the... Ah, oh, shit. So here I'm like, all right, uh, fuck. Uh, what can I do as a sniper here? There's not much I can do. I mean, they keep running out one at a time. So here, I would actually be like, all right, just fucking hold the phone for a bit. Uh, I would switch class. All right, so heavy. I'm like, give me heal. Give me heal. No, don't don't heal the guy building. You can heal the people that are dying, and you would build at the same rate, Mr. Muffs. God, find his profile and tell him that he, he disappointed me greatly. So I just kill the sentry. All right, so now I've cleared some ground. Are we attacking? No, of course not. We're standing inside the spawn, fucking getting a shit pushed into our asshole. Once again, I'm telling them to move forward, and they aren't. Look at this. It's clear. You can go. It's just a heavy. You have two medics, and the devil man can go as well. Why are you running back into spawn? Doesn't matter if you die, because we are dying anyway. So now I'm like, all right, fine. Fuck. Whoops. Died to that, but now I'm gonna be removing the sticks. Look at this heavy. He's actually giving some ground. Switch back to sniper. Get juggled. That's okay. I'm I'm gonna go around the set. Here we go. So I'm gonna and this Mr. Muff fucking gives up the piece of shit. Oh, tell him he's stupid and he sucks and he should never give up. God, I'm so mad at you. I'm fucking spitting all over my monitor. God. So, so I'm like, okay, just if you just open the door at any point in time, I'll clear all the sticks. I'll clear all the sticks. If you just, at any point in time, just open the door. Okay, I missed that one because I was typing. But that's not the point. There you go. You can tell that I'm like, if you just open the door, see, the, the bombs are gone. You can go at any point in time. I'm like, move, go at any point in time. But we, they're not. Mr. Muffs, go fucking kill yourself. God, you suck. Oh. I, I could play something better, but this was going to be the bizarre bar bizarre bargain episode. But no, that's not the case. And then I'm like, fine, fine, okay, I'm getting desperate. This isn't working because my team sucks and we're about to have an Uber. Just go at any point in time. You can just go on, guys. Just whenever you feel like it. Of course, we're lacking numbers. So I'm like, all right, switch, switch. Going to go for this. And here comes the, the total fuck you in the face. All right, so he Ubers. And he doesn't run in front of me to take the pushback of the gun. So I'm literally stuck in spawn. Fucking incompetent medic. Why aren't you right? We are both invulnerable. We've been dying left and right. Why do you care? So we go out and we clear this out. And there's a ton of shit. And we almost kill that heavy. And there's nothing behind. And I'm like, call forward to uh, find we fucking lose. And got him, man. Like, comment, favorite, then subscribe.